Hey everybody, it's Dan the Red, and welcome back to Battle Girls, right? Then last we left off, we had ourselves a moment, well, spent a bit of the day with uh, Akiko and danced, because, yeah, I guess that's now trending for mech combat. Anyway, welcome back to my humble pit, Takiro and ladies. You all give her a wave and she smirks. Hi teacher, uh, what's up? Before you ask, yes, the suit is good to go, and no, I won't tell you anything about your opponent. God, maybe if I just slipped you a little bit under the rug, I mean, I'm pretty sure I got some money. Got about five bucks. I mean, it, it can buy you a few candy bars, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Kariko. Really, I mean it. The mechanic harumps, glancing away. Well, I mean, I am pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, hello. Everyone goes quiet and turns to face you. Ah, decision time already, huh? My co pilot for the day should be. Uh, definitely Akiko, yeah. We haven't done anything with her yet, and I mean. Let's keep the trend going. Akiko, let's do this thing. She'll take that in the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Akiko grins proudly, stretching herself out. And that's quite a view as well. Yeah, um, you can keep doing that. Before we go, can I say something cheesy? I just did, but feel free. You're not going to take my cake. <laughs> I've already eaten it. Can any of us actually stop you? Oh, <laughs> just shuffle that card out. Probably not. I hope not. Ellipses. Akiko stares blankly at the others. Did you forget what you're going to say? Oh! <laughs> oh! No! Baka, yeah, maybe. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, stop it. Just fucking stop, stop it. Quit. <laughs> That's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, take deep breaths. It should be easier, right? No more robot spider jockeys. Mm. Think of it this way. It's probably not a spider this time, at least. Hey, yeah, she's got the same idea. You suppress a shudder. Ugh, oh, memories. All alone with the memories. Thanks for the reminder, bitch. Is there some way for me to boop the nose of your co pilot like a misbehaving puppy from here? Oh, I'm only teasing you. Can't you handle it? You're always teasing someone, aren't you? I. Apparently, she teases Micah. I. I'd like to see that. Anyway, if the sound of the arena slides open and your opponent rolls out. Okay, here we go. Place your badge. What the fuck is this? At this time? Oh, which kind of is... Well, it looks like the robot from the first simulation. Okay, it doesn't seem to have a gun barrel on its sword. But it does have what looks like canisters of some sort of fuel, or maybe batteries. I'm guessing they're like they're fuel canisters, though. Which would lead me to believe that this is not just an average sword. Something's up with this shit. Okay. Yeesh. I think it's not pretty. Agreed, agreed. So, what's the plan? The counting column descends from the ceiling, three lights showing. Okay, shit. This sounds like Micah. This sounds like Sheehan. I'm going to go with third option because I'm I, I'm going to test my theory here. Third option. I don't know. I don't just mean like third option in terms of like one, two, three, descending order. I mean like the way they sound. This sounds tactical, I guess. Keeping from a distance and shooting, which seems, seems to be Micah's preference. Assaulting the treads would seem like Sheehan's preference. The open uh, attack is going straight in for the assault. So I'm, I, I can only guess this is kind of her thing, maybe? I feel like hitting them won't work, and getting hit by them would be even worse. They also have a shield, too. Yeah, so that's... Hitting them would be a little bit tricksy. A solid assessment, Taki. So, what do we do? Annoy them and find a weakness. Aye, aye, sir. Should be your... <laughs> oh, and now I'm having flashbacks to Sunrider. That kind of reminded me of something fucking... <laughs> Claude. Claude, annoy them. Oh. Move for the lance to aim at you before ducking to the left and rushing in. Yep, it fucking lights up a plasma and shit. The void behind you is converted into a giant hole, kicking up dust and making the earth tremble. Is it a plasma launcher? What the hell kind of uh, shells are they firing? Ignore it, don't stop moving. 
Get into the ride, avoiding another blast and getting into the enemy's range. We don't want to hang around long and get hit. No shit. You jump at the at the base of the treads, backing away from a lance stab. Don't get maneuvered into its shield. Yeah, that would hurt. It better just punch you and send you off balance, opening you up for a hit with the sword. You cut off go when you realize you're directing the path of destruction. I'm so flexible the Kiko in the co-pilot seat. Okay, yeah, that's actually... Well, with her in charge, yeah, you act Well, in charge. With her at your side, yeah, that actually would make sense. You have more of a, 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 de a, a dexterity kind of thing there. More dodge. You feel a sense of satisfaction from her presence in your head and struck at them again. So wait, so are we, know a, are we a fucking dodge tank? What? <laughs> An evasion tank? Apparently they're getting annoyed at the two of you darting out and stinging them. Yeah, I would be too. They throw a huge sideways sweep with their lance and you spring over it, striking their uncovered head as you do. Got him! Get him! You skip back out of the range, readying yourself. Let's take him down! I mean, it's pretty hasty, very confident. Smash up their armor, assault their back, blind them. Okay, again. This is definitely something Shin would do. Smash up their armor, just go in and pummel the fuck out of them. Assault their back, that sounds like something I think Maiko would do. Get behind them and hit them from the rear. Blind them? It's weird, it's unconventional, and they're a robot. Well, they're a mech. Um, so I guess this, the unconventional thing would be the unconventional persons. They can't, they can't see, right? Yes, but how do you tend to pull that off? That's a very good question. Pocket sand! You hop aside, dodging another, se another shell, cell, dodging another cell. No, sir, you can't hawk your wares at me. I refuse. Run away. Take out the eyes. What eyes? The next shot lands close enough to make you stagger. You take aim and fire a few shots in return. Damn it! Its shield rises and your shots hit harmlessly away. Why don't our guns make things explode too? <laughs> That's a very good question. Exploded guns are the best guns. While its shield is up, you move in close and try again, opening fire. But there's, but there's only the same result. At best, you deal a superficial scratch to its head. You move in yet again, closing the jab the eyes with your blade. Wait, Taki! Oh boy. The world goes white for a moment and you're thrown off of your feet, hitting the ground hard enough to skid. Erg! Breathe! You cough and blink back into awareness, rolling your feet onto your good side. Either suit's uh, lance looks scorched and battered and there's shrapnel stuck in their shield. Did they overcharge their fucking plasma lance and blow it up? <laughs> you try to bring up your buckler's on, but there's no response at all. Uh. Oh. The crazy jerk's firing is uh, at that close of a range. Oh. <laughs> okay. And it ricocheted off. <laughs> oh, that's. That wasn't smart, motherfuckers. You don't fire a fucking rocket launcher at your enemy, they're point blank. You learned that in an FPS day one, although it should be common sense. Are you okay? That's the very question. Although her clothes aren't battered up, and while that is disappointing, it's also reassuring in the sense that, oh, blinky blinky, that she isn't hurt, because that's that's the kind of can cola thing here. Scratchy, scratchy, bangy, bangy. I'm more concerned about you. A second ago, I nearly lost my connection to the suit. Did you hit your head or something? That'd be crazy. The suit is supposed to be safer than that. A quick check shows that your back's taking some horrendous damage from the impact. Okay, maybe I was wondering for a moment, but it's okay. You stagger to the side of the enemy reloads and try to regain your senses. Oh, so it's not broken, it's just... Oh, okay. Damn. This could be our last chance. It always comes down to the third one for me. I mean, well, I always fuck up once. Break their arm, shoot uh, down the engine, hit and run. Okay. It, it, again, it just it sounds like Shin, Micah, unconventional. But I don't... It's twice now. Well, the first time it worked. So, I'm going to do it again and see what happens. Hit and run. This is too stressful. We need to hit them, uh, hit, hit and run them. Give lots of jabs. Wear them out. Come on, we can do this, Taki. And that should be her thing. Again, dodging around the enemy. Hitting them. Uh, just Dodging and hitting. That sounds like her thing. Dance around the attack. Hit them. Dance out of the way. Do it again. Rinse and repeat. You feel... Oh, pfft. You feel a little ill at the thought of spending so much time within the other suit's optimal range for harming you. You sprint back in, blade guarding your front in case you're too slow to dodge. The shell goes wide as you faint in and out. You drive your blade in for a jab, but it skirts off them harmlessly. You sway, or as close to swaying as a suit can manage, away from the retaliation and jab again. The hit, land, uh, the hit lands closer, and for a moment you swear your opponent is panicking. <laughs> shit, shit, shit! You dodge a few more urgent stabs, exchanging them with slashes and jams of your own. 
one of their plates starts to, to look a little loose, so you focus your next few hits on that same place. You're tempted to take advantage of the moment, but something holds you back. And finally, they give you a real opening. Now! Their arm uh, overextends. You use the force of the stab to drive your blade into their joint, severing something. Oil spurts from the limb and you hop backwards. I'm feeling tired already. Ugh, me too, but we can still keep it going. Right, let's not relent. You reluctantly slip into another ready stance, your suit protesting at the ordeal it's been through. The groaning and straining sound comes from your arms. It's like a stab in the ears, and I can only hear the victory fanfare playing. <laughs> we, 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 we've won. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> The groaning and straining sound coming from your arms is like a stab in the ears. Still, you uh, you move them in, into a ready position. And now we get the rips and tears and... Uh, well, it's not exactly where I would like it to be. I'm not hinting anything with my cursor there. But, you know, I'll accept it. And it's, 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 um, you know... It's, uh, what are odds of victory? If they can still shoot, not very high. You bite your lip and wait patiently for them to make the next move. But with a heavy thump, the suit drops its lance and powers off. Oil and lubricants leaking from the core. Da -na 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 -na. Akiko and you both let out a sigh of relief, and when the clanks and sounds, you drop your arms. Arm. You have one left. One got blowed off. They might have kept going if we hadn't put our arms up. <laughs> Can we finish the rest of the fight without being in a terrible state, please? I like that too, but I can't seem to manage it. Always seems to be hit, miss, hit. Uh, yeah, hit, miss, hit. You chuckle and shift on the spot. I'll be sure to work on that <clears throat> right away. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, you cute little panda, but oh, hello. Um. Hmm. Oh, okay. Feeling shy? Well, no, I'm feeling silly, but it's not shy. Should I be? Yeah. Okay, with you, I actually don't know. You seem to be kind of slipping back and forth between the dip shit. When I say dip shit, I mean pussy, not necessarily an idiot. I mean, you're an idiot, but... The, the fucking pussy vi uh, visual novel character who sees a girl and goes, Who oh, no, knew? What do we do? And the guys who actually try and put a little bit of a move out there, you know? You, you, you seem to be kind of crossing that fine... Oh, jumping back and forth over that fine line. I can't quite get a beat on you. So I don't know. We're all in your bedroom. That certainly seems like a reason enough to be shy. I don't know. I'm pretty confident myself. Usually, anyway. I'm totally getting lucky tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking pop the collar. Oh, here we go. No, you're not. <laughs> like that. Not gonna happen. In that case, I obviously have to crank up my teasing. I, I would like that, too. But that's kind of... It's kind of mean at the same time. In the meantime, what should we do? Well, I don't have much in the way of instant entertainment. Akiko suddenly looks at you with glittering eyes. Yeah, she's blinky blinky as well. What are your feelings on alcohol? Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that to Kiro or is it to me? <laughs> because yeah, you don't want me answering that question. <laughs> I mean, I drink sometimes. That's the reasonable thing to say. <laughs> oh, I have a problem. Good enough for me. Oh, that's, yeah, mm-hmm. She stabs towards your mini-fridge, bending over to, oh, where's that cutaway? Where's that, CG? Give me that. Bending over to paw her way through it, seductively wiggling her hips from side to side as she does so fucking coarse. You have to be doing that on purpose, and I'm glad you called her out on it, because she absolutely is. Doing what? Uh-huh. She grins coyly as she stands up with one bottle in each hand. You're not fooling anyone. You have good taste in beer, at least. Beer? Yeah. Thanks. There's, all, uh, yeah, yeah. There's also wine, if you fancy that more. No sake, though. It's a tad pricey. Well, the good, the good shit is, sure. But, I mean, that goes for anything. But Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean... <laughs> also depends on what kind you're getting. You could be getting nail polish remover, or you could be getting something that's a little bit milder with a kind of a fruity flavor to it. Play, fruit, kind of, not, not, not overpoweringly so. Just a bit of a hint, you know. It's not something nice and slightly refreshing. Why am I going on about this? Oh, I'm more of a vodka whiskey person myself. Thanks. There's also one if you fancy that more. No sake, though. It's a tad pricey. Already read that. Did it again. Don't know why. Nah, I'm not really a wine drinker. I like it sometimes, personally. I, it's it, it, it depends on the, on the brand, really. 
And since sitting opposite to you, Akiko sets herself down in the chair beside you, wrapping an arm around your shoulder. You take a bottle from the blonde, and she clings her drink against your own. She smells of hard work and a feminine sweetness, which is quite different from the heavy beer you take a gulp from. At least he's not drinking piss water. The weak ass American shit. Ah, that seriously hits the spot. Been far too long since I've had a decent beer. I'm glad you approve. Akiko appears perfectly happy to lean up against you while she drinks. Her hand occasionally travels up to your head as she plays with your hair. That feels kind of nice. I'd prefer it if you were doing that with my other head instead. <laughs> He's not skirting the issues, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> with <the> head instead. <laughs> Say, Akiko, hey, you wanna. <laughs> you can call me Aki while we're relaxing, Taki. Aki, Taki, a cute couple name. Okay, now I kinda wanna go for you, but I still think I prefer Shein. I mean, you're. you fucking hell. Aki and Taki, huh? Yeah, he saw it too. Aki Taki! We've discovered our shipping name. Good job. <laughs> We've discovered our shipping name. Good job. Good job. <laughs> you feel full proud of yourself for that one. <laughs> I'm a fucking giggling fool tonight. What the fuck? I have no clue what that means, but alright, I think. Okay, if you don't know what shipping means, good on you. Don't ever look it up. <laughs> Spare yourself of the curse. Have you never been on the internet before? Jeez. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm a country bumpkin. I was too busy keeping everything from falling apart to be able to spend time online. Right, right. Makes sense. It's kind of amazing that you've ended up with one of the highest Panzer ratings considering that. Isn't we learned that, like, long-term inbreeding somehow can... Because <laughs> it, uh, it shuts off just enough higher brain function to make room for, for controlling the... Oh, why did I... Okay, no, I'm not going there. Scratch that on the record. Try it. Well, that was already amazing in itself, actually. Amazing-er? I don't know. Whatever works. Thanks for the awkward compliment. I really appreciate it. You want to latch yourself from her to fetch more drinks before returning to your spot. You're barely settled back into your chair before Akiko reattaches herself to you, smiling brightly. Well, yeah. She's like Velcro. Her breasts are practically wrapped around your arm, and you have to tell yourself to behave. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. God, she's forward. Oh, damn it. Even if she's forty, I can't just grab her for fun. No. No, you can't. That would, that would be in poor taste. And honestly, I, w I don't know how she'd react to that, honestly. I do not know. Because I could see that going either way. You're already slightly lightheaded, but Akiko seems untroubled. You felt like what one beer man? Grow up. But Akiko seems untroubled by your the four. Oh, oh yeah. But Akiko seems. Uh, 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 what am I doing? But Akiko seems untroubled by the four beers she's already put away. Ah, that a girl. You're an impressive drinker, Aki. She giggles. No, no, oh God, is she drunk? She giggles, nuzzling in your ear and causing you to yelp. Oh, thanks. From years of practice, or maybe not. Oh, yeah. I was gonna ask a question. Why blushy blushy? The answer could be yes, if you play your cards right. Oh. Okay. I must have had too much to drink already. My brain didn't put that, on to, that one together properly. <laughs> I think it did. Akiko rolls her eyes and takes your free hand, putting it on the bare skin of her leg. Where? <laughs> These look like they go pretty far down. Got it yet? Wait. Am I actually getting laid? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who look who's getting laid tonight? Wait, is this actually happening? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's good. I like this. I like this a lot. Maybe. This could ruin things. What if she's actually drunk? She certainly had a lot more. Okay. Um. Ha. Huh. Uh, uh, um. 
I mean, I know what the gentlemanly thing to do here is, but I'm, trying, I'm actually having to struggle with thinking about what exactly she would move the mouse cursor, please. Just notice that. What she... Oh, not there either. Off the screen entirely. There we go. What she would actually want in this incident, if I said no, would that actually insult her? I don't know. I don't want to... That could also go poorly if any of the either of the other girls find out, too. I'm just going to play it safe this time. Sorry, not this time. Sorry, Kiko. Not... No, 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 not, not, not this time. I'm, I, 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 it's, you're making it very difficult, but no. You're probably pretty drunk. She blinks in surprise before harumphing and taking another mouthful of her drink. Yeah. <laughs> Even when I'm all excited and ready to play? Down, kitty. I've seen the way you look at me with those violating, perverted eyes. Well, looking is one thing, actually doing is another. It's... <laughs> Self-control is the key here. You can have fantasies. And depending on what those fantasies are, I'm not even going to go into that fucking shit, but it, 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 it's a matter of self-control. The ability to, to fantasize and to not act on those fantasies unless you have the go-ahead to do so. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to dig into the fucking, the myriad of bullshit that goes into that. You valiantly, <laughs> the white knight here, ignore the blood traveling south in your body, nodding slowly. <laughs> I keep a size ruffling at your hair. Not mad? No, not mad. I'll live, Taki. She'll go to Micah. No one mentioned that. She sounds a little annoyed, but seems willing to let it go. I'd hope so. By the time you've had another drink, you're feeling floaty and warm. Akiko is still, thankfully, in one piece. <laughs> Despite nearly cleaning out your little fridge. Oh, Jesus. Uh, whoops. You're all out, Taki. You're not going to be too hungover to for tomorrow, are you? <laughs> oh, I, I, I do wish I don't know one. No, I'm pretty good. Water, a painkiller, some greasy food, and I'm good to go. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> okay. Because some of those are okay. The painkillers, <laughs> that, that, that can be dangerous if you haven't waited long to get that out of your system. That can... It's... <laughs> you know, internal bleeding or straight out uh, uh, liver toxicity, depending on what you use. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I don't have much in the way of. What are you doing? She's going through your fridge again, pulling out food. <laughs> Look, when you said food, I didn't think you meant mine. Bacon, eggs, sausage, even if rolls. Time for some junk moms. You let her do as she pleases, gathering up the stack of empty bottles. At least she's cleaning up. Don't worry, next time you look in that fridge, it'll be restocked. You're gonna break into my room while I'm asleep and do it, aren't you? Do I want to know how? Nah. I'm gonna break in and fill the fridge of beer while you're asleep. You know, I said that as a joke. You didn't have to prove the stereotype true. That sounds about right, actually. Yeah, it does, and sadly enough. <laughs> and perfectly enough. Higo giggles, eventually serving up some food. It's not great, but both of you are that special kind of drunk hungry. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I hit a spot. And now... She glances at your bed, pondering for a moment. I mean, my previous position still stands, but you're welcome to share. Would be okay with that. I'll have to behave for now. Well, that counts as behaving. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Wouldn't use that as an excuse for anything. She saunders over to you while you're still sat down and hugs your head. For a near full minute, your head is encased in warm, squishy breasts, and you're quite pleased with this outcome. <laughs> quite pleased indeed. Quite. Eventually, she leaves. You tidy up the place, throw off your clothes, and are asleep before your head hits the pillow. I think it left out something there, actually. Only a few more battles to go. Nah, and with that, this episode ran on longer than it should have because I was rambling like a fucking asshole. In any case, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed recording this, and I will see you next time.